of uh, the South Downs here. Roman Villa is down there, quite a steep hill. I'm glad I didn't have to climb it because it is quite warm. So this is uh, the car park right at the top of the South Downs. And uh, right now I'm on, I think I'm on the South, yeah, the South Downs way. Yeah, the long it goes, well, I <laughs> imagine it's, yeah, it goes from Dover to Winchester. A vast distance and follows basically along the top of these downs. Just come, well, maybe less than 200 yards on this walk. I'll see how I'll go. Because it's, I've got, well, <laughs> I've got about, um, well, there's four hours of daylight ahead, but of course I won't be driving back in the dark. I've got 40 miles back to where I'm staying. And, and look, at, look at this. <laughs> A vast, I don't think it must be wheat, I think. As I say, I'll have to look into all this. Uh, so, even on the top of the downs, the soil is, uh, and, and it's a chalk sub, it's uh, ch chalk rock. I don't know how deep it is, but apparently it does all right for whatever crop that is. Over there is the high point in this part of. Uh, South England, 700, where those masts are, 745 feet above sea level. Uh, okay, I'll carry on going. Yeah, yeah, the Channel Island comes into view. Somewhere over there, there's the offshore, uh, the offshore uh, wind turbines. A couple of walkers coming up behind me. There's the English Channel. I think I did. I say the English Channel Islands. I meant to say the English Channel. Now this uh, track here is prob probably a prehistoric track. Uh, yeah, these upland, uh, uh, well, they probably weren't so heavily wooded, and uh, they provided, uh, uh, well, long distance prehistoric tracks from one part of the country to another. There's a rather large patch of cloud overhead at the moment. So this immediate area is in uh, uh, kind of gloomy. But all round, you know, it's quite a very clear day today. You can see, well, I can't identify him, but uh, you, can, you can see uh, distant landmarks. The, the track I've taken, uh, the, which I, uh, it's a circular route. Uh, it's, um, it was a bit of height loss, unfortunately. Uh, I think at least a couple of hundred feet, which I'm going to, of course, have to uh, climb back up again to the car. Good example of the uh, of the poor quality of the soil, but apparently it doesn't stop that other crop from... Uh, and of course, this is the Flintstone here. It, uh, well, that's not a very good, good example of it, but uh, it was excellent. Uh, it's very hard and excellent, uh, excellent for making stone axes. One reason I like this countryside in the south of England, the South Downs in uh, Sussex, because it's where uh, basically my ancestors came from on my father's side. My great grandfather, uh, uh, well, he, uh, this is where he lived, was born and lived, and, and s several generations before him. We reached a junction here of, of four tracks, and we're back to that, uh, that crop, whatever it is. Wheat, or maybe I don't know what the barley, I don't know what barley looks like, but there I hadn't seen any footpath signs for a while. But there's one there, so oh, now I'll just check my directions. Yeah, that's where I'll probably go up there. I can see the masts. That's uh, yeah, Sussex countryside. Tracks aren't marked on the map uh, on the uh, ordinary. Uh, uh, 50,000 Ordnance Survey map. Uh, so I think I'll lose some more height here and go through that wood and join up with the Monarch's Way. I have to look up and see what the name of that crop is. 
that's why I've just come down there, I lost a bit of height and I'm about to enter this woodland uh, okay the pain, private, no public right away and that's the direction I want to go in but there's a track up there uh, with this uh, uphill work back to the car, it's just as well I'm descending through a wood Okay, this is the Monarch's Way, I'm sure it is. The Monarch's Way. I just came up there. The tracks are fairly popular with uh, mountain bikers. I'll just go a few yards off the track to see if I can spot what's called in the, uh, in the south of England is a, tu a tumulus. Uh, I think it's kind of like a prehistoric uh, mound of some kind. But unless it's marked, I might not be able to spot it if it's buried in this woodland. It's just a few yards off the track. Okay, here it is. Yeah, this tumulus here. Uh, yeah, some kind of a burial mound. And on the top of it looks like, uh, well, uh, Possibly, uh, it, there's been some digging here. There's a big hole in the middle. But, uh, so any buried treasure has long since gone. Okay, uh, another one of those big, uh, I, my guess is they're barley. I don't know what barley looks like, but I'm just guessing barley. And of course, there's no weeds at all in there. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, the uh, chemicals they put on there. Uh, which of course means uh, it affects the insect life, which in again affects the bird life. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to take a slight diversion off the track and see if I can spot some earthworks here, which, uh, well, form a hill fort maybe, or a settlement of some kind back in the prehistoric times. But I can't, there's just a very slight bank there. Really, I can't see anything. You're probably uh, more definite if you had an aerial shot of it. Yeah, there's nothing really here to see. And of course, over the years, uh, all this has been ploughed. And that, of course, naturally, uh, yeah, really nothing to see here. I'll just go to the top of this little rise. Yeah, I can't see anything. Go any further. Slight indentations and the bumps, but nothing I there's a, I don't know if that's a bull over there in the distance. So, uh, yeah. All right. It's in countryside though, and I reached another, uh, four-way junction and uh, someone's fashioned uh, well let's have a look here in memory of Leslie uh, Frederick and Hilda Ethel Betteridge 1960 uh, 2013 I'm not sure 2018 no 2013 yeah and there's uh, that signpost has been up there a few years. But I think I'll go that way up to the back up to the car park. Okay, that's the the path I took. Bigner Hill, that's a, that's known as Bigner Hill on the top there. And uh, they have been doing some recent logging here. So uh, 